up, Weddy Nerdigans? This is the one and only Packer Girl 89, and today's Manga Nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for Boku no Hero Academia Chapter 118. And wait, what is that, Espeon? There's a new Boku no Hero Academia manga? What? Yeah, that's right, Manga Nerdigans. There is a new uh, Boku no Hero Academia manga side story, and it is called Vigilante Boku no Hero Academia Illegals. And I just saw it yesterday, and there are about three chapters out right now, including chapter zero, and it is really funny, and I really recommend you Nerdigans read it, because I am going to start doing live reactions to Boko, Vigilante Boko no Hero Academia Illegals, as well as Boko no Hero Academia Smash. So make sure you Nerdigans go check out both of those mangas, because I want more chapters of them. I really do. Because right now for Boko no Hero Academia Smash, there are about, what, what is it, Espeon, like 10 chapters? Yeah, there are about 10 chapters for Boko no Hero Academia Smash. So we need more. We need more Boko no Hero Academia Smash and Boko no, Vigilante Boko no Hero Academia Illegals. So make sure you go read those mangas and stay tuned to Nerdigans Inc. And stay subscribed to Nerdigans Inc. for live reactions of those said mangas. Anyway, so... Last week, we had um, Bakugo, my favorite character, confront um, Midoriya about his quirk. And yes, Midoriya can basically confirm that um, he got his quirk from All Might. And now they're fighting. And I've been looking forward to this fight. I have been. I have been looking forward to this fight. I, I know Espeon has been too. Yes, Espeon has been looking forward to this fight as well. And my Espeon is so cute, isn't it? If you want to see more, uh, I just got this Espeon um, during um, my Black Friday adventures. If you want to see the other amazing stuff I got during my Black Friday adventures, go check out my Nerdigan vlog that I uh, uploaded a couple of days ago because I need you Nerdigans to choose a game that I'm going to start streaming on my hashtag Video Game Nerdigan Streams. So please go check it out. Anyway. Let's get to this chapter. Whoa, this chapter is called a meaningless fight. Is this a meaningless fight? Espeon, do you think this is a meaningless fight? Well, Pokemon never think a fight is meaningless. Right, my baby. Well, Team Rocket, it's meaningless because Team Rocket and fucking the other villains are fucking stupid. Anyway, 2-1-A students confirmed at ground beta after curfew. A class, homeroom teacher, eraser head, extension A. Yo, eraser head, the robot is watching. The robot. Two of your students um, are at ground beta, negligent supervision. Come take responsibility and discipline them. Are you serious? Seriously serious. Yes, they are not just seriously serious, but super serial. What in the world could they be? Oh, God! I can't wait for this! This is gonna be awesome! Um, but does that mean my aspirations were wrong the whole time? W wait a minute, do we really have to fight? Bakugou's like, yeah, motherfucker, we have to. It doesn't mean your aspirations were wrong, no one is saying that. Boom! I said wait! Wait up, Kachan! Even though I always gave you shit as you trailed, are you okay? Even though no matter how many times I beat you, you would still fucking tag along behind me. Don't run away, fight me! Even though we admired the same person. Let me tell you something. Self-confidence is an extremely important thing. You have the power fitting of a hero, no doubt about it. I understand it's because of young Midoriya's sudden growth, isn't it? But, you know, someone at level 1 and someone at level 50 can't possibly grow at the same rate, right? Why? Oh, God! Oh, my God! Why? Because someone at level 1... And I think I'm doing a good... Then maybe I should have my Umbreon here, too, because I have an Umbreon for those who missed my Moggy Manga Nerdigan live reaction yes, uh, last night. Hi, Umbreon. I love you, too. <laughs> Let's take two Pokemon, for example. One is at level 1. One is at level 50 Um, when you first get them. 
which is not likely for, uh, for evolutions, but just go with it. One is going to grow faster with experience points because that's, when you're at level one, experience points, you get a lot of them really um, with every battle. You get a lot of them faster. So, and when you're at level 50, when, uh, the, it's a lot harder to get exper well, a, a lot of experience points. So, so I understand, and I, I had to use the Pokemon analogy for this. I'm being a Poke Nerd again right now, so whatever. Thank you, Umbreon, for, for your help. Now I'm going to go back to doing this Manga Nerd again live reaction with Espeon right now, even though I love you too. I love you, Umbreon. You're so fucking cute. Okay. I did a Manga Nerd again reaction with you last night, Umbreon, so it's Espeon's turn. See, Espeon, I love you too. <laughs> Don't be jealous, Espeon! Are, are you all? Don't you fucking worry about me! Fight me! What the hell is your problem? Why? How did I end up chasing the back of a shithead who was always trailing behind me? A shitty small fry like you, getting stronger, and behind and being recognized by All Might even though I was getting stronger too, so why? Why did I become the reason for All Might's end? Oh, Magago! I love you! I, I want to hug, hug you so much right now! I'm hugging Espeon because I can't hug you, Bakugo. I need to get a Bakugo plushie, like, now, but I'm fucking broke. Please donate to the Nerdigans Patreon, Nerdigans Inc. Patreon so I can get a fucking Bakugo plushie. <laughs> Seriously. I, like, I feel so bad for Bakugo. Like, Bakugo feels terrible because if you remember in the One for All arc, the reason he feels, Bakugo feels so guilty because Bakugo got, remember, Bakugo got kidnapped and All Might had to use the last of his power to save Bakugo. Oh, my baby. My, my poor Bakugo. If I had been stronger, if I hadn't been kidnapped by the villains, then none of this would have ever happened. All Might was trying to keep it a secret. He couldn't tell anybody, but even though I try not to think about it, the slightest accident would make it all come flooding out. I have no idea what I should do. Oh, Bakugo! My baby! I'm trying not to cry. My poor baby. My my poor baby. Umbria, don't be jealous like Bakugo. This is Espeon time. My, my poor baby. My poor baby. He's been carrying this burden this whole time, even more than I was all even more than I was all this time. He was troubled by it. It was on his mind the, this whole time. Do we really have to fight? This fight very well may, um, might very well be a meaningless one, and it was not matter who wins or, lo or who loses, but I know in this moment that I have to do it. Smash! Like smash! All right, then. I wanted to see if I, um, see if shoot style would work well against you anyway, because uh, right now the only person who can receive Kachan's feelings is me. If you want to go, uh, go then, there's no holding back. Embracing those feelings head on. Oh, man, this chapter. Oh, this chapter. I, like, I feel like this chapter should should have been called Bakugo's Regret. Because, or Baku, not Bakugo's Regret. Bakugo's Burden. Because this is what this chapter really was. This was all about the weight of Bakugo's, on um, Bakugo's shoulders. This is more about Bakugo's burden than anything else. And, like... I understand why this fight isn't meaningless. No, this is just a way for Bakugo to let out all his frustration, and I totally understand that. I think Espeon understands that, too. And Espeon, you can't get into a fight with Umbreon, because one, you're both my Pokemon. And also, dark types can beat psychic types, and I don't want you getting hurt, because you're my baby. You're, you're my baby, too. I love you. I love you, Espeon. <laughs> I love my, I love all, I love all my plushies equally. I love them all equally. I do. Hell, I have my new plushie in the box still. I'm not opening that box. I don't know how I'm good. I wanted to like reactions with my new, but the box is so pretty. I can't do it. 
I might just have to have a box, like, have a box with a live react, a live reaction with a plushy box. I don't fucking know. Anyway, I, like, I hope Eraser doesn't break up this fight. Fuck, I hope All Might sees the footage of this fight. He needs to see it. And, like, I hope we get to see more of how, um, Midoriya's Smash has grown as a power. So, anyway, I totally understand where Bakugo's coming from. And, hell, you could see it as, as I said, as a, a Poge perspective. <laughs> anyway, let me know what you Nerdigans thought of this chapter. And, could you feel for Bakugo like I do? Or, and do you think I'm just being biased because Bakugo's my favorite character? Anyway, remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdigans Inc. And if you love what I'm doing and want to contribute to the Nerdigans Inc. expansion, there's a couple ways you can do that. As I mentioned, you can donate to the Nerdigans Inc. Patreon, or I really want the Last Guardian and Final Fantasy XV Super Pat, but because of my Black Friday adventures, I, I could barely pay my rent this month. So I I'm probably going to be starving this month, but... um. If you want to at least purchase, uh, if you want to donate the uh, the Last Guardian or uh, Final Fantasy XV for the ver video game Nerdigan live streams, go purchase it off my Nerdigan Inc. Amazon wish list. That and my Nerdigan Inc. Patreon is in the description box below. As well, make sure you follow me on the Twits, aka Twitter. Uh, follow my Twitch channel and friend me on PlayStation Network. Everything's in the description box below. And until next time, my fellow Nerdigans, I will be seeing you later. Bye.